Hi, this is the fifth lecture. In this lecture, we'll talk about other proof techniques. So basically, in this lecture, we will cover two other proof techniques, which are proofs by contradiction and also proof by cases. So let's start with the first one. Okay, so um, in, when we want to use proof by contradiction, is it, it's pretty uh, pretty crazy kind of proof. It might look uh, pretty weird in the be in the beginning, but it is very useful techniques. Okay, so if if you want to prove that a proposition P is true, okay, to do so uh, instead of trying to prove that P is true directly, we first assume that P is false, and then show that this logically le leads to a con contradiction. Okay, so to prove P, we assume not P, and from that. We show that there's some contradictions, like in this case, uh, you have R and not R somehow, and this follows from uh, not P. Okay, so if this is a contradiction, then it means that it's impossible for P to be false, hence P has to be true. So let's look at an example for that. All right, so we will we'll talk about uh, this proof. Uh, it, it is the proof that shows that uh, square root two is irrational. Okay, so to to make it clear, because proof by contradiction somehow is very confusing, so um, we usually have to state it uh, explicitly that we will try to prove in this way, so that the readers uh, can see it instantly. Instantly, that uh, we we use this technique. Okay, so um, so we prove by contradiction. So we assume that theorem is false. That is, we assume that. Uh, square root two is rational. Okay. From that, um, because it's rational, which means uh, there exists a pair of positive integer a and b such that uh, square root root two is can be written as uh, a or b. Okay. And since uh, okay, when we, when we talk about rational number, uh, we can have like one over two. We can have uh, 2 over 4 and and these two rational numbers it's the same number right but it, it can be written in, in in many ways okay but uh, in this case uh, since uh, it's it's a rational number so we can can assume that um, it's written in, in in the normalized form that is a and B share no common factors like in this case uh, we will we, 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 we'll let a and B be be this uh, one and two Okay, not not this one. Okay, so um, so let's choose a pair of a and b such that b is minimum. Okay, so in this case, a and b share no common factors. Do you see why? Okay, if you cannot see why, just pause a minute. Just pause the video and think about it for a minute. Okay, all right. So we know that uh, we assume that square root two is rational. So there exists a pair of integer a and b such that square root two equals a over b, and we also have that a and b share no common factors. Otherwise, we can, you know, make it uh, normalize it. Okay. All right. So let's square both term. So from square root two equals a over b, we square it and we get this, and with some manipulation, we we get this. Okay. And can you see anything? All right, so let's move on. Okay, so we we just had this uh, that a square equals two b square. All right. Now, uh, by definition, a square is an even number because b is an integer, so b square is also an integer. So a square equals two times some integers. So that that means that uh, a square is an, an, uh, an even number. And from the theorem that we proved last time, this implies that a must also be an even number. Okay. So we, we, we move further. Okay, by definition, because a is an even number, then we know that there exists an integer k such that a equals 2k. From that, we obtain these. Okay, so we plug 2k into a and we get this. 
and we can uh, cancel out two here and here you get two here right uh, so we get this b square equals 2k square all right all right so this implies that b square is an even number and by the same theorem we conclude that b must be an even number okay so from this derivation we know that a must be an even number and b must also be an even number all right so now at this point you should might you might notice something okay so we, we are almost at the contradiction that we want so I would stop this video so that you can think about what are the contradiction that we get